Do you have $5? If so, this is the deck for you. Here is my $5 Nova Beatdown deck. This deck is actually really fun. There is also a how to play for this video and if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. And without further ado, here is the deck profile. Enjoy. Starting off with the great threes, we have four Glad Grad. This is the main boss card of the deck and it has a great skill for when it attacks. You can counter blast one, soul blast one, it gets plus 10k so it can hit all vanguards without being boosted. And if you have five rear guards in rest, you could stand two of them. This works really well because it's a great budget card. You could really build this deck and have fun with it, especially during quarantine where there's no major tournaments going on. So this, he's the main boss card. And as our backup, we play four copies of Battledore Fighter. He's the original name of the Battledore skill because he, at the cost of a counter blast and a soul blast, makes it so your opponent has to guard two cards. And when building this deck, I decided to look at what Nova Grappler cards have on a budget, good rear guard effects, and still work well with Glide Grad skill. So when it attacks a Vanguard, it gets plus 5k. And it's a 7k, it's 17k attacker. And if it's on an Excel, it's a 22k attacker. So it can hit some decent numbers. And if you stand it with the Glide Grad, you could hit some solid, solid, solid number combinations. And as to Round of our attackers, we play two maximum riser for a total of 10 grade threes. When it attacks a vanguard, if it's not boosted, it gains plus 10k power. On an Excel circle, whether you go Excel 1, it's a 32k by itself. And if you go Excel 2, 27. So if your opponent's at that 12k vanguard, they're gonna have to drop 20k to block the attacks. So a common theme with this budget deck, as you'll see, is that a lot of the cards gain power and help you manage Glad Grad skill properly. So that's why we run those specific cards. Grade twos, we have four copies of Style Hustler. Style Hustler, of course, is very important to the deck because it gives this deck an answer against control, being able to soul blast and add, add the retired card to your hand. And then when it attacks, it gains plus 3k. So like I said, with the big power gaining bonuses, you want to be able to stand powerful cards with Glide Grad's effect. Four Iron Killer as another attacker in this deck. If you have three or more rear guards, it gains plus 5k making it a 14k attacker on its own. Super important, especially like I said, to hit big numbers and make sure that you're able to wrap up the game as fast as you can because this is a beat down rush deck for Novas. Next we play two copies of Boomerang Thrower. This is really important to resource manage because you can counter charge and soul charge so it fills multiple roles for the deck. Because especially because this card by itself could fulfill Glide Grad's conditions by itself. So it's a one card Glide Grad. And you might notice some other cards that we could run in the spot. You could upgrade these to probably high powered riser customs and change the starter to battle riser if you really wanted to. And then eventually as you progress to build other decks, you could just change a lot of the cards around to make a competitive Nova deck, which is super awesome. We play four copies of riser custom. This is one of the most key grade ones of the deck. I chose this over all the other budget Nova grade ones because you want to be able to hit, like I said, and if you don't hit any triggers, when the card in front of it stands, you may stand it as well. So it's getting back another booster, and that's really important if you want to be able to hit all your attacks. It's only a double rare, too. Four PGs. This, of course, is essential for any deck, and thank God they're rares. And this is also the drop and draw one, so if you want to use a skill to search out, or at least attempt to search out more of your pieces that you could use for your combos, Go for it. Three Shout, this card is also like Boomerang Thrower. It gets you the cards in your hand or in your soul because you have a lot of cards, a few cards that Soul Blast in this deck, such as Style Hustler, and it's just creating synergy with all of your plays and fulfills the advantage engine for this deck. And it's only a common, can you believe that? Super, super good for Novas. If you have any Nova deck right now, you wanna be playing at least three of these. And then two, Drill the duel, drill the duel, blah, blah, blah. Um, this card is gives a card the battle door effect at the cost of a discard. So the, one of the other reasons why this deck could compete with some of the other decks is because it forces some guard restraint. If you have two of these out and battle door is your vanguard, if you have to ride it, your opponent has to drop two cards for every column, meaning that they need effectively six cards to defend if they have five damage. For triggers, we play five crit, four front, three draw, four heal, and the draw starter. And yeah, that's the deck. So I hope this helped you guys understand some of the card choices better. 
And now that you've seen this, please go check out the how to play so you understand how all the cards interact with each other in a game setting. Remember to subscribe and if you guys enjoyed more $5 and $10 low budget deck options, I highly recommend you guys build them if you can and try them out, especially because there's no tournaments going on. Thank you all for watching, have a great day and I'll see you all next time. Peace.